Hi, it's Robin. I've got here a so-called viral math problem that's been going around Twitter the last week. All kinds of arguments are erupting over it. Some of the people say the answer is 1, some say it's 9, and there's smart people on both sides. So I thought I'd give it a try on my TI calculators, which, by the way, have a Z or Z80 processor in them. So they're actually 8-bit computers. So we'll try it on the TI-85, 6 divided by 2, and then brackets, I'm Canadian, parentheses if you prefer, 1 plus 2, and enter, and the answer is 1. So I guess team 1 is correct, but on a hunch, I want to give it a try on my TI-86 calculator. Here we go, 6 divided by 2, 1 plus 2, enter, 9. So what's the deal? Clearly both of these couldn't be correct. It's essentially a matter of interpretation. How does one parse this question? The way you interpret this question determines the result. So really, it's just an ill-defined question. But we'll get into that further here. Clearly, these two calculators have been programmed differently. They interpret the order of operations in a different way. In the US, there's an abbreviation PEMDAS, which is parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. It's a mnemonic to help people remember what order operations should be done in. Here in Canada and in New Zealand, we use bed mass, brackets, exponents, division, multiplication, addition, subtraction. I've even heard of bod mass. So after I got different results on two very similar calculators from the same manufacturer, I thought I'd try a couple others. Here's a Casio FX991MS. 6 divided by 2, 1 plus 2 and equals 1. So that's the same as the TI-85. Then I grab my TI-83+, plus, and it gives 9, the same as the TI-86. So here's my HP-48S. Usually this uses RPN, but you can get it to do regular algebraic calculations. You just use the tick here, and we can do 6 divided by 2, and in brackets, 2 plus 1, and eval. And what does it say? Invalid syntax. So this is a clue as to what's going on. The HP calculator just considers this invalid. And it's pointing right at the problem. That opening bracket or parenthesis is right up against the two. So what's really there is an implied multiplication. Implied, because it's not literally there. So what happens if we add it? I'll just cursor over one and add a multiply. And now eval. And we get the answer nine. So here we have our two entries in Team 1, we've got 2 in Team 9, and the HP ended up on Team 9 once I made the decision to add the missing multiply sign. So whenever I'm faced with a dilemma like this, where do I turn? To my Commodore 64. So let's set that up and take a look. Okay, I've got the Commodore 64 set up, so let's try it on here. Question mark is short for print, just telling the basic programming language that we want to print the result of 6 divided by 2 brackets 1 plus 2. And so there you have it. The answer is 3, 3, 1, and 9 are obviously incorrect. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you next time. Okay, so what's going on here? Well, the C64 is not interpreting this as having an implied multiply right here. Instead, it's treating it as two terms. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 
and inside the brackets here is another 3. It's just the same as if we tried 6 divided by 2 and then put a semicolon, which is the usual delimiter between items in a print statement, and 1 plus 2. Same thing. So to get to actually answer the question, we're going to have to define it better, and there's two ways you can go about that. So just for reference, I'll, I'll just put the question there. By the way, it's shift return to get the C64 to advance the cursor to the next line without actually processing what's on that line. So it all comes down to this spot right here. We could think of this as three terms. If this were algebra, we could define it as A divided by B, C, where A equals 6 and B equals 2 and C equals 1 plus 2 or perhaps more accurately, put that in brackets. So when you look at that question, do you think this is A divided by B times C, or should you multiply BC first? Well, the order of operations, which is either brackets, exponents, division, multiplication, and then addition, subtraction, or PEMDAS. So you see how equivalent they are, either brackets or parentheses, depending on what you call them. And addition and subtraction are the same in both. But you notice that the order of division and multiplication here are reversed. Now that's not because here in Canada we do division before multiplication, or in the US you do multiplication first. These are a group. Division and multiplication have equal priority as you go from left to right. So if that's the case, we would just do A divided by B, which is three, times C, which is also three, so that would equal nine. However, there's another line of thinking where BC not only has implied multiplication, but it also has implied parentheses around it, in which case then you would get 2 times 3 is 6, and then you would have 6 divided by 6, and then it would equal 1. So really what we have here is just a very poorly defined question, deliberately engineered to get people arguing. Now if you're saying, but brackets come first, parentheses come first. Yes, we do, one plus two first and get three, but this two up against the parentheses, that isn't parenthetical, <laughs> that is an implied multiply. So we can go either way on this. Controversially, I'm a little bit more on team nine than I am on team one. Now, if there is a higher priority to this implied multiplication, then the correct answer is one. But if implied multiplication is the same priority as regular multiplication, then the answer is nine. So what is it? One or nine? You decide. But really, this kind of question is poorly defined, and really the fault lies with whoever asked the question. The question should be written as, so if the question was written this way, it would be clear that the answer is indeed one, as the numerator and denominator are clearly separated here. And if that's what's intended, then that is how the question should have been written. So that equals one. And if it was the other way, then the question should have been written. And if this is what was intended, then it should be written just more clearly, and that would obviously equal nine. Thanks to my patrons for supporting this channel. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you next time.